This painting's main title is called Tokai Geiko, and this is inspired by the Tokai Geiko called Tokos in the Philippines. You'll hear them call in the early morning hours or mostly in the evening hours. And for a while there, when I was visiting my parents in Cebu, this is actually the city in Cebu, and they sounded to me like they were calling football sounded like they were going football, football. So I asked my father, what is that bird outside that is calling football? When I was small, we were also living in a city called Osami City in Mindanao. And it didn't dawn to me that that was the same creature that was making those calls. To me, it sounded as if they were calling football. Of course, when I was in Cebu City at that time, I was already way grown up at age 36. We left when I was very young. I can't really remember how old I was, maybe 11 or 12. So, that, those calls were very, very loud in the evening. I even told my sister, hey, there's a bird outside of the window calling football, football. It sounded to me like he was saying football, football, but it was actually going toko, toko, and it was a call from a lizard under the eaves of the house and it was calling out because it was seeking a mate. I didn't see it in person, but I did look it up in the internet and there's a whole lot of different types of Tokai lizards and they have a habitat that spreads out from many countries there, including Malaysia, Vietnam, all those other places in the Pacific. So I thought that was very, very inspiring. So here I am getting some imp inspiration from the Tokai Geiko. Tokai Geikos actually can grow very big. There had been some photographs in the internet that shows them about the size of a cat. So to me, that's, that's new. It has been about a year and a half since I retired from my teaching position in clothing, textiles, and fashion merchandising at our state university here in New Mexico in the United States. And this is the first time that I have taken back on my brush. So this is really relaxing for me now. I paint because I want to, not because I have to. And this is a very liberating feeling because you are not trying to sell your work, but rather just to have fun with it. I joined the Las Cruces Arts Association a long time ago, probably over 20 years. And I used to exhibit with them, just have fun, but this is an association of professional artist, so it can be intimidating. But I have won awards from our exhibitions, though I am not a painter. 
by profession, but I do love to do artwork. My vocation was an educator in terms of my profession, a university professor to be exact, but my trade was a fashion designer and on the side I wrote books and my publisher, Sterling Publishing Company, has published two of my works. I'm under contract for a third one, but I don't want to feel pressured. I wanted to take a, a break from that endeavor. It has been a long time teaching at the university level that, frankly speaking, I got burnt out with the demands of my profession, always chasing after goals and deadlines.